Hi, I'm Jason Strout, uh, head trainer at Church Street Boxing Gym. Uh, I work with a lot of top MMA, boxing, and Muay Thai fighters. Today I'm going to go over uh, how to set up kicks with the hands and, and how to use your hands in a kickboxing fight. My jab as a weapon. I'm trying to set things up off of that. It's a very important punch. So if he's in a stance, I uh, angle a little bit towards me. So when I'm throwing that jab, pop, it's nice to keep him, keep him occupied, keep him busy with it. Right? If he's not hitting his face, I like to hit his glove. I like to hit his glove and keep him busy. And I can know where his range is. After I found his range with, with the jab touching his glove, I'm going to touch his face. So I touch the glove, then I'll step in a little bit further and I'll catch him in the face. And it's not necessarily just trying to knock him out with the jab, it's trying to see how he reacts to it, which way he moves, and then I can start using my kicks. And I can start using my favorite kick, which is the low kick. So I like to use it off the jab and off my lead hand. So I'll hit him with the jab, he might be moving. Catch him with the jab. I might start fake, faking and fainting, see how he, he reacts to it. So if I fake it and, and tightens up, then I can know I can come down the middle. If I throw my jab and he tightens up and he brings his hands together, then I can sneak it around the corner for a hook, and maybe a right hand, and then another hook. And then the minute he steps down on that front leg, that's when I'm letting that low kick go. I'm always looking for that weight to transfer onto that front leg so I can drop the low kick. So I'm using my hands to set it up, in and out with my feet. And then the minute he steps over, bang, I drop that low kick. Then when he starts looking for the low kick, I go back to my hands. When he starts worrying about it, maybe he starts blocking, then I'll start ripping shots in the body in the head. And I'm keeping him busy, he might start moving away. But when he starts moving away, that's what I want. I want him to move away, bang, so I can set up that low kick again. And then I immediately come back to set up the jab. So we're moving around. Let's just move a little bit. Pop. I'm always trying to beat him to the jab. If I feel like I can't be first with the jab, I try to bait him into it. I'll step backwards a little bit. I'll get him to throw his jab first. Pop. And then I'll step back in with my own jab. So I'm using my jab for a lot of different things. Bait, setup, offense, defense. He's blitzing at me with the combination. Pop. I'm going to stop him right in the middle of my jab. So I stop him dead in his tracks in my jab. Boom. I can post over the top. Always coming back to that jab. I like to turn my feet side to side, get him to move, and the minute I see him square up and open up, pop, catch him with the jab. Again, I can touch the glove, touch the face. Touch the glove, touch the face. Punch over the side of his head, so he starts opening up, and then I got the jab down the middle. And then he steps over, pop, and I got that low kick, right? All right, thank you.